welcome back to camper van trails i did say to be two weeks that i would do another video however i'm putting an extra one in i thought this would be hopefully to uh, one or two people uh, i looked at the uh, van wheels and quite honestly they were disgusting i needed to do something with them uh, today's standards to refurbish your wheel if you have it done by a local garage or whatever stems from about 50 pound up to 75 so obviously four wheels 75 quid each we're talking a lot of money so uh, anyway i uh, knuckled down and at uh, 11 o'clock today i uh, started to refurbish the wheels but i did them a different way of which you will see in the video so i'll stop rattling on let's get straight into the video and uh, you'll see what I've done and the results. See you in a minute. Okay, here goes. Now look at the state of this wheel. All around the edges. The lacquer has, has either come in off or come off or it's got wheel, wheel uh, rash be touching the curve not something i've done it came like this so what i'm going to do some spray water i'm going to spray the wheel just spray the wheel with water let's soak in And then I'm going to use some 80 grade paper and I'll rub nice and gently just to see what's what. Now, yeah, it's scratching, but you have to do that if it's bad. So I'm going to drop a lot of this is common sense. I'm going to drop down to I'm going to go up to uh, some 150 when I find it. Here we go. Bit of 150. That's 150. So, rubbing it down. Being very careful. You've got to take it right down. A lot of patience is needed. This is not a job you can rush. You have to break the seal of the lacquer. And as you can see now, I'm sanding it and it's going to take about an hour to do it. On this part of the wheel here, this has got to be, you've got to be so careful. So you're not scratching the black. These have been like this, must have been like this for years. You see there. Now, I'm getting it back to taking the lacquer off and getting it back to bare alloy. So, I'll come back to you. I'll progress it a little bit more. I'll come back to you and uh, I'll show you what it's like after I'd finished. Thank you. See you in a bit. Now, as you can see, after about an hour, all that's been sanded back to bare alloy. There's still a few marks at the bottom there, which I've got to get out. And then I'll wash it off 
and I'll let it dry and I'll come back to you. Now that's all been washed off. All rubbed back. I spray a degreaser on it. I, well, I call it elbow grease. And then leave that for a few minutes and then give you a good wash off. Wipe it down and let it dry. There's still a few marks left in it, which I will just double check at the bottom there. But this wheel was in a right mess. So again, I'll come back to you. Okay, that wheel is now ready for its next treatment. Now, I could have, if it had so wish, I could have masked the wheel up and just clear lacquered it. But I thought, no, I'm gonna go in a different direction. I'm gonna use a linseed oil that I use on the bumpers. Mixing it 50% white spirits, 50% boiled oil. Put it into a cup, glass jar, whatever. And here goes. So here goes. We've got the, I'll try and hold this. We've got the, uh, not a large amount, small amount, a bit of boiled in seed oil, diluted with white spirits. Put a bit on your ratchet, only a little bit. And we'll get in. Doing all the way up. Going, going everywhere, whether on the wheel. You can see. Now what I've found, we're doing it this way. Having used it to with paper, and then onto 150. I found that the the linseed oil, or boiled linseed oil, it ties to the scratches. It doesn't tie like the scratches so much. I didn't see them doing everywhere. <laughs> Just get a little bit more on the right. You don't you don't get loads. Just a little bit on the right and just rub it in. Now then look at that. that. We'll have another coat, two or three coats, and it seals it. Let me show you the other wheel I've done. They've had two coats. Two coats. Boiled linseed oil, well, which is diluted, 50-50, with white spirits. And I've got to, I think you've got to agree, <laughs> they look a million dollars to what they did look like. So there you go. Another job you can use boiled linseed oil on. I hope you enjoyed that. A uh, bit different. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, you're talking uh, around 50, 75 quid a wheel to refurbish any alloy wheel at today's standards. So, you know, potentially I could have been spending 300 pounds. 
I looked at the black and the black part of the wheel that, that were okay it was just the alloy which uh, you know it, it was just peeling off it looked a right mess so I set to about half 11 and I finished about uh, 5 o'clock so it's a long job it's not a job you're going to do in a couple of hours but hey ho you know now I've uh, got them finished it saved me a few bob and they look a lot better than they did before so yes uh, I was going to lacquer them that had meant masking it all masking all the wheel masking all around the tyre and uh, spraying the wheels or alternately taking the tyres off it, it, you know a long a long job with a lot of cost but uh, doing the way I've done it again it works so uh, I hope that helps somebody saves a few bob these VW camper vans or VW transporter they can be a bit of a money pit you can spend an absolute fortune so they come to a point where you start to look for ways of saving money this is one of them okay uh, I'll catch up with you very soon I guess it'll be about a couple of weeks and we'll do that van tour inside and out of the van well worth watching if you like what you've seen today give me the thumbs up and please do subscribe it helps the channel grow take care have a good weekend and bye for now